in this world, we have been left behind by the gods. After years of conflict between pantheons, the great city of Atlantis has revealed itself from beneath, seeking to lead all demigods towards a path of peace. Yet forces of doom and chaos lurk, villainous threats seeking to shatter the last threads of serenity between all known pantheons. Still, their descendants seek to prove themselves and survive against a world of mythical beasts, monsters, and each other. Welcome to Origins of Olympus. King Mitch! Mm. Oh, Emia. Perfect timing, actually. I am here. Uh, are the preparations ready? Yes. Everything has been oh. made. Beautiful. And the portal is ready. Awesome. I'm glad we are able to set that up in such a short amount of time. Same. Uh, pretty quickly, actually. Mm. Now, keep in mind, this is a very, very important meeting. I want to make sure this goes very smoothly. I'd like that. I have heard some very interesting things, though, that I feel oh. you should know and maybe vent about. Uh, are there any further issues currently going on that I should know about? Uh, well, I've got a plethora of uh, invitations that I've sent out. Uh, very, everyone okay. was kind of skeptical because it was like, "Why is this a kidnapping?" Blah de blah. Um, I tried to reassure him that that was not the case. Um, I came across a certain, uh, Impu. Ah. I'm assuming Impu told you what happened between us? Uh, yes. He said you had a fight and over kids and stuff. Well, it's a lot more complicated than just a fight over children, but... Yeah. I also didn't know about Brian either. I found out about yeah, that. that that was uh that was new i was not expecting that after hearing from you that you know all you knew was save them well yeah kind of a shock mm. but yeah. yes you were you good um no <laughs> i guess uh i i realized that i went to the camp in search of seeking other people from mythologies and in a sense I went there and probably made a few enemies um the stress has been wearing me down a bit but I'm hoping to do some self reflection and hoping that this meeting will go better and in hopes of it going better I also hope to apologize to those that I've affected and hopefully things will go well well I may have fixed Impu ever so slightly Okay. Uh, I told him about his, uh, the letter. Um, one problem with the letter, he didn't get it. Hmm. That makes sense since he was a bit confused when I mentioned Atlantis yeah, he, and stuff. He didn't get it, so... I don't know. Maybe the underworld doesn't get letters to people properly these days. I don't know. But I definitely sent it. 
Well, I mean, regardless, Inpu knows. So he does. But they're coming. They've said. But I'd hope that our little fight wouldn't ruin that. So I'm nope. glad to hear. I mentioned the personalized letters and all of that good stuff, and it mm. definitely, uh, definitely did the deed. He's definitely willing to give it a shot, at least. Good. <sighs> There's a lot of a other... big day today. Yeah, a lot of other interesting characters too. Uh, yeah, I, I met a... a few of them. Yeah. There's um, two in particular we need to keep an eye on. Okay. Um, it's the Loki brothers. Hmm. That makes yeah. sense. I didn't know there was brothers, though. I did meet one of them. Uh, Riggy Siegfrieden, I believe, is uh, his name. Yes. He seems like a troublemaker, so I'll have to keep my eyes on him. And then we have Omrecker. That's his new nickname. Mm. Or Joey, okay. if he can't say his real name. Okay. But yeah, he's the so, other twin the brother, brother whatever. Person. Got you. Okay. I'll yes. keep them both in mind then. I know the Loki causes lots of issues, so I'm sure that Loki's children would do the same. Yes. They deformed the gate. Ah. Well, that makes sense now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Lots of things have gone on while we've... Uh, well, at least while I've been traveling there. Already. Considering it's on, you know, this year's camp's only just begun. I have a multitude of problems, which doesn't surprise me. Neither does it surprise me either. It's one of the main reasons why I got into an argument with Zylo, because he assumes that this camp is doing good. In a sense, it's probably causing more issues. That does not surprise me. It does definitely I mean, I... Uh, cause issues. I mean, I get having demigods in one spot to avoid bringing the issues worldwide, but it doesn't matter. We've already got worldwide issues and universal issues, so we'll see. That is very true. <sighs> very true indeed. Hmm. All right. I don't think but we yes. should sit here talking for too long. No. There are I think people we waiting for us. Underway. Uh, well, I guess it's time to put my royalty face on. Uh, Indubitably. Yeah. And don't worry. I'll keep the stress level down. I can't be acting like this. Like I said, I don't want to be like my father, so I gotta learn to control myself when it comes to situations like this, even under heavy stress. And you'll do a grand job. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Indubitably. All right. Let's get this over and just hope this goes well. Yes, let's do this. Hello, everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate all of you being here. First off, I better introduce myself in case you don't know who I am. I am the current king of Atlantis. My name is Mitchell, son of Poseidon. It is very nice to meet all of you. And... To my left, would you like to introduce yourself in case they don't know who you are? Zylo, son of Hades, camp counselor here. Mm. And to my right. For those that have met me already, I am Emia, and I am the king's loyal, loyal assistant. Mm. Now, normally I wouldn't be calling upon a lot of people like this, but there are some serious problems going on in our world currently. And I figured having a lot of people from Camp Oasis might be a good idea, since a lot of different mythologies come here. So, I myself, along with Zylo's help of getting campers, am in need of assistance. I will explain more, but there is a reason why there is this portal behind me. This portal leads to Atlantis. Now, I know probably some of you are worried of, obviously, breathing on the water. Don't worry. I have set it up to where when you go through this portal, a magic will in basically wrap you so that way you can breathe on the water with no issues. Other than that, I don't think there's much else. Uh, when we go through, we'll be right next to the throne room. If everybody could take seats, I'd appreciate it. And then we can discuss what's going on. 
without further ado, everyone, welcome to Atlantis. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming here for this meeting. Before we begin our discussion, why you all are here, may the demis around the table please introduce themselves to everyone here. We may begin with the person on my right, Impu. Feel free to introduce yourself. Um, uh, hello. Name's Impu. I'm representing the Egyptian Pantheon. It's nice to meet those that I don't know, and, of course, some old friends of mine. Hello, I am Omiji. I am representing the Asian Pantheon. It's a pleasure to represent my mythology and meet you all. Hi, I'm Rakara. My stepdad yeeted me down to Earth. I'm also here to represent the Egyptian Pantheon, and this is my dad, Zylo. Thanks, Rakaro. As he said, I am Zylo. I'm representing the Greek Pantheon for this meeting. I hope we can solve whatever seems to be happening right now in this world. Greetings. I am... <coughs> <coughs> I see the king can't hold in his allergies while people speak. Are you alright, Majesty? <coughs> I'm I'm fine. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know what happened. I just started coughing and felt really dizzy. But it seems to have disappeared. Uh my apologies. You may speak again. <laughs> I am Ishara, son of Ashvatama. I represent the Hindu pantheon. Unlike some I know how to hold my tongue when others speak. But, then again, if a topic intrigues me, who's to say I won't speak my mind? Hello, I am Ned. I represent the Norse Pantheon. It's very uh, nice to be able to represent my mythology. It's very exciting to be here and hope to not only solve some issues, but also to try some of the luxurious Atlantean food. Food will be for later. <laughs> Now let's get into the reason why you all are here. The reason you guys are here. King Mitch, are you all right? King Mitch? He is fine. It's nice to meet you all. We appreciate you coming. We are here to speak to those who wish to listen. Listen closely, my children. A change is coming. A change as rare as a fifth season. A sun rising in the west. One that will reshape existence as we know it. Only a single united path may lead to this insurmountable shift. At the dawn of the world, the gods have nine curiosities, only nine to weave existence as we know it. As the human race began to flourish, these curiosities were bent, broken, and forged into powerful relics, artifacts wielded by the gods themselves. As ages passed, these relics were moved, scattered, and lost to the winds of time. And now the gods themselves stand against progress, the gods stand in the way of fulfilling their own dreams, their own ambitions. Great forces seek to fight for what they want, and attain the unattainable. To discover the inconceivable, and make the possible inevitable. Only with the nine curiosities converged can the world truly shift and change into what the gods and men believed it could be, making the impossible possible.
Well then. Uh, well, it was fun. That was that a speech. Happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just coming. What does that even mean? Mm -hmm. Well, welcome everybody. We finally for this now. meeting. It's uh, greatly what? appreciated that all of you have come what, what, here. What? What? Us? Um, stop! 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 Point yeah. Point. We're what? we're starting over. We're we're not starting over. We're just starting. What you, you uh, just catch? Uh, um, that last part. You heard that. Yeah. What but last part? As he hit his head. I think you've had a little trouble with channeling. Oh, uh, my lord, you were saying about how you was giving us sharks a pay rise and dental health care. You know, we, we, we have rows of teeth. We, we really need it. Is that shark talking in English? I, I Is guess. that human <laughs> talking in English? Also, I know none of my sharks speak English, so good try. Mm. <sighs> Anyways, fun. um, wait, this person, uh, who may uh, you be, if you don't mind introducing oh, yourself? Yeah. My oh, name would this? be Morse, Mitch. Oh. It's a pleasure to be here. I assume you're the king of this place now. Mm. It's nice to meet you, Morris. Um, I don't recall yes. him being on the list. You just I don't skim believe... over what you said? How come he gets to sit down? Yeah. I think you're meant to sit over along the side. Quiet, Silo. Oh. You don't speak to my dad that way. <laughs> oh, seems to have gotten a new one. That's surprising. What's an awkward situation? Awkward. Well, oh, regardless, oh. everyone welcome. You I appreciate no. all of you guys being here. No, no, no. Um, what was that sorry. stuff about artifacts <clears throat> and gods? Yeah. What artifacts and gods? King yeah. Mitch. It went all big the dream, Mitch. <sighs> Stop wasting our time. Oh. We've all heard it all. Mm-hmm. Your Highness, you already spoke to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big I'm assuming voice. gods have taken their own action. Oh, yes, God. your highness. Uh, Does this happen right. often with? No, you? this is a new occurrence. I can say this is the first no. for him. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. did you just forget, or was someone just speaking for you? More I'm assuming like it was the god speaking for me. <laughs> Interesting. Common occurrence. Hmm. The, the gods? Which ones? Does this happen a lot around here? I don't know which ones. No, I still haven't figured that part out yet. No mm -hmm. But anyway, artifacts. Any... Anything about that? Anything that uh, makes sense? It said Just... big chains coming... Big chains coming. Artifacts will get, get up spread throughout the wind when the gods use them um, and all that stuff. Artifacts and gods, that would make hmm. sense. But what does that mean, though? Yep. Well, Somebody fighting for though. what they want? I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. uh, Taking for what they want. Interesting. <sighs> I guess we'll look more into that at another time. Yes, so Gonna have to really decipher. Anything we can do anything about it right now. You mean you yeah. cannot channel willingly? No. I didn't <laughs> even know they could take over my body like that. I've only seen them in dreams, not in person oh important times call for important situations i guess so uh, but besides this prophecy thing which i guess we'll have to figure out there are some other issues going on not just here in atlantis but in our own world as you guys know we are demigods from all different mythologies and no not way. a lot of us have gotten along over the years which has been causing mm. issues for the actual gods. Mm-hmm. With great reason, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Now, More obviously, recently. I can't blame just Camp Oasis for issues. Yes, there have been issues at Camp Oasis, but I'm sure there's been other issues outside of Camp Oasis that none of us can control. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem is coming up with a plan on how to fix these. I'm assuming whatever I had said might lead us towards a solution. But the gods are getting pretty... Cryptic. Cryptic. Could be a solution, could be something much worse. I hope, I hope not. I have an idea. Something peacefully. Hmm? What's your Arranged idea? Arranged marriages. That, no. No. What does that help? What does that help? That, that all the pantheons will join forces. Me. No. Uh, mm. I think it's a little more complicated than that, Ricardo. My culture is... Yes. No. 
Exactly. I also don't think that we forcing people to get married is a good idea either. Especially ones Not who are already really. married. Exactly. Some people did it in books. Uh, it happens all the time. But I'm from. That, that, well, that it's something I disagree ago. with. Hey, this guy gets it. I didn't look her. <sighs> Let's get back to the topic at hand here, please. Even if we could do that, it would take more than that much. to get the gods off each other's backs. And to find a suitable person for you. It's a task. Um, Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's, let's get back on subject. Please. Thank you. They uh, cancel. Now, I recently became king. I haven't been king for long here. Oh, what is all the choice? At the moment, I currently don't even know where Poseidon is. <laughs> he just kind of gave me the role in vanished. Lord you knows what know you're doing. Father it would appear as though your father grew bored. It appears that my father has been a pain. Hmm. I can understand that sentiment. Preach into the choir. Like mm. a bull that's... Yeah. Not one. That supposed to... Not everyone. Yeah. yeah. It seems pretty likely that most of us have issues with our parents. At one point or another. say that again. Mm -hmm. understand. You could say no, that again. Here. I'm hoping that with maybe me attempting to get a hold of Poseidon, we can maybe look further into what's going on in the god realm. I know issues are starting to arise between not just the Greek, but also any Asian, Egyptian, etc., etc. here. What's Lots the of god realm? <sighs> it's a realm that none of us can access. New one on Some there. of us. Rare occasions. Mm -hmm. Very rare occasions. Not really by choice, it just happens. For instance, Atlantis is not in the god realm. Obviously, we're all here. Even the underworld really isn't too much of a god realm. It's kind of 50 50. Well, it depends on which on underworld you're going to, I guess. Mm hmm. So, I mean, the same could be said by any of the other nine realms. Basically, we need to come up with solutions, and that's why I want everyone here. If anyone could brainstorm anything that you think could help, it's From greatly what you said appreciated. Earlier, it sounds like we need to collect some artifacts to make change. I think mm -hmm. that was the War. Main Do you want to breach those realms? Uh, I don't think that's the goal here. Collect no. artifacts. I put forth force. War. Oh. Battle. I War is the last thing I would very like. Very little uh, would help as in that much... regard. As much I as I, you know, disagree. we've been kind of disagreement recently, I, I'm pretty good when it comes to research and this type of things. So if we need to figure out exactly what kind of artifacts we need to, you know, solve this issue. We don't even know if it's going to be a good thing yet. Well, mm -hmm. that's why I want to do some research first. Yeah. I don't want to go head in into this, you know, gather everything and then, yeah, what happens after that? We don't know anything. Unless we can be God's able to wrath. May I also point out, may I also point out that before anything, we, we don't even know what artifact they're talking about. And just judging by all and. the pantheons, uh, we have a lot of artifacts to choose from. And this is why I want to do some mad research before we start deciding on which is which. Yeah, I agree um, with Inpu on this. Deciphering this prophecy that I said would probably be best. What if we could talk to uh, mm. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, Carl. But Maybe this it, is it, what needs to I mean, to what if we just had one laying around somewhere? Mm. Uh, well, well, we could. Nice stumble into it. You might. Uh, is that land you know? safe to bring artifacts to? Maybe we could figure out through looking at artifacts themselves? Well, or... Art of Atlantis is safe, but if we're dealing with gods here, I don't know if... Um, that's interesting. You have to realize we're bringing sure. artifacts from every pantheon. Yeah. And all of you, all of your artifacts will be here. Can you really trust any of us to keep them safe it doesn't Especially sound safe at come. all no it doesn't Don't perhaps some neutral ground will be necessary um, it's one of the most neutral grounds we have hmm. i have a suggestion if people are willing to listen sorry to butt in sure um, speak if we're not going to trust the fact of it the artifacts being wide in the open for example what if i took them and locked them in time so they cannot be accessed only by me well, everyone needs to trust you then, Cal. I, know. I, I just really to know say, you you're the only one with access to time. Mm. Also very true. I'm probably not the only one who has access to it. But it is an idea to lock it out of time to get out of the timeline so people can't access that. Seems like putting a target on your own head to me. Yeah. Which I'm willing to take. Also, weren't you just locked in time for five years? 
What if you lost the mole? Don't want to talk about it. What? Right here. Thank you. Ah, uh, what? So now? Uh, no guarantee that they won't be locked in time as well. So there's a, there might be a chance it'll be locked away forever. <laughs> you can't Who even is... control your own magic. But at the end, having them what? locked in time forever means no one else can grab them. Yes, yeah, so also means that we can't through. use them to protect ourselves. Mm. Actually, I have we a... don't. Yeah, there's a lot a... of things if we I have to speak. look at here. Yeah. So is option B. What's what option doing. B? Continue locking away any gods that cause us trouble. Mm. I'm sure that won't incur any wrath. We're trying to prevent war, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on the move. Maybe those locked away well, gods are the ones we can talk to for answers. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I don't think we should talk to those gods. Yeah. That also yeah, seems dangerous. But they could help. Yeah. Do we even really... think we're powerful enough to do that? Whatever we're gonna do is dangerous. Precisely. Yeah. But releasing it a god help. that's dangerous might be an even worse idea. Mm -hmm. This time, it took five of us, yeah, to took release five them. Of us and, a, and Mjolnir to take down one god. And how mm. many of us I... are there here? Yeah, that was just one. One, two, three. No, There's about 20 of us here. Yeah. Um, hey, don't count me in. Oh. Are you not a god? Here's a fighter. All right. Yeah. In some capacity. I mean, yes. fighting isn't just ready to take on a god. Exactly, yeah. and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not have to fight the gods, let alone have any demigods fighting each other. And what's the point yeah. of this? Well, the point is trying to find something peaceful. You're talking to many people who have fought with each other for many, many years. There, you'll find very little peace. Mm. Maybe not peace with the gods, but peace with the demis might do just mm. as well. Where we need to find some sort of first step towards that. Exactly. Well, I only know love. That's, that's the, the option that's we adorable. release some of the gods that we've had captured, but I don't think uh, that's the best uh -uh. idea either. Mm -mm. Trust Maybe God, yeah. not the best idea in the world. No, no. I, for one, think this is a sign. We are within the last Kali Yuga, one of the fourth and final Yugas in the Yuga cycle. Uh, it is one full of conflict and sin, and it is the final one before the purge. So, maybe this is just a sign of things to come. Oh, mm. great. Sounds like Ragnarok. I think it's Sounds bad. like war. I think it's something good. Precisely. Oh. Hmm. If I may speak so freely. Go ahead. I think we should sign some sort of interpantheon type contract, as in, so we don't, you know, some inter conflict ban. So, kind of like a peace treaty in a sense. In a sense. It's not a bad yes. idea. Fellowship. It's very unlikely to work. It's a good shot. It's a first step. Good luck like with that. It. It's better than nothing, that's for yeah. sure. I feel if like we're not we even attempted to uh, fine. Fine. not willing to do it, then what purpose does all this seek? Yeah. No idea, but how are we gonna enforce that? <sighs> exactly. I mean, if, it, yeah. if someone disagrees, we're just gonna gang up on them? Is that how we get peace? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more <laughs> like a bludgeoning. I think we America. Make this area, <laughs> what? we make this area a complete safe zone. Any fighting and you're banished. I can't agree sure. with that one. Any fighting here in Atlantis, I will banish you immediately. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. don't need the citizens here getting hurt over foolish problems. Fine. Then I feel like we should just get this treaty started then. Everyone agreed to just not be a jerk to each other for at least a little bit until we figure out all this stuff. As long as we're in here. Yeah, I as long as we're in. Yeah. Please. Oh, sorry. I will agree to one space. Yeah. One space, yes. Atlantis. That is fine. As long as we can like set all our differences here, we can at least get some work done. Exactly. Yeah, I think that works, Mitch. That'd be a first. Okay. Well, then it looks like we need to write up a peace treaty in a sense. What's the plan? I'll get to it. Uh, now, <clears throat> I hate to bring back this prophecy that I don't fully understand, but I think we might as well end this meeting here for the moment. I think anybody who wants to try and decipher this, attempt to. That's our best option right now to figure out what this means and what these artifacts are. I'll keep my mind on it. Mm. Mm. Good. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Thank you guys for coming. <sighs>
Yeah. yeah I guess we could mingle for a bit, well, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, might as well. I need Ready to actually to do... Unleash a bunch of demigods Hi. on Atlantis. I'm Akara. Can I sit in the front? I've heard a lot about you, Akara. If you want to, sure. Take a seat. Yes. Yeah, I need to do this right feels right. Anyone who wants to head home. Right now I need to do some exploring. Can I speak to you, Zylo? this place anyways. We have a lot of work to do. Indeed we do. Hello. And you may be? Oh. Kaiba. It's nice to meet you. Kill you went to my soirees past years. Long, long ago. Meow. I think they're royalty. I think they're royalty. Disturb not the harmony of fire, ice, or lightning, lest these titans wreak destruction upon the world in which they clash. Though the water's greatest guardian shall rise to quell the fighting, alone its song will fail, thus the world will turn to ash. O oh, chosen one, into thine hands bring together all three, their treasures combined tame the beast of the sea. Now it 